Hello chess lovers, let's have a look at a game played by Paul Keras against Alexander Alyokhin. The game was played in 1937. Keras started with e4 and e5 by Alyokhin, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5, white goes for the Spanish game a6 Morphy defense, bishop a4, d6. Usually in this position white is castling king side or playing d4, c3, but we see a rare continuation c4. Bishop d7, knight c3, g6, black is going to fianche to the bishop and d4, bishop g7, bishop e3, knight f6, we see d takes e5, d takes e5, and bishop c5, a strong move, controlling a3, f8 diagonal, and not allowing black to castle king's side. Actually, this move creates a lot of problems for black. Knight h5, knight d5. I really like Kara's position. Knight f4, we see the exchange of knights and e5, closing the bishop's diagonal and getting a very dominating pawn on e5 square. g5, now comes the queen, queen d5. From the opening, Keras managed to get a very strong position. Bishop f8, finally Alokhin decides to get rid of this dominating bishop on c5 square, and white castles queen side. Queen e7, Black is also preparing castling queen side, but now we see bishop takes c6, bishop takes c6, queen d3, and again bishop d7, blocking the d file and preparing castling queen side. And now using the vulnerability of this bishop on d7, Keras captures on g5. Alokhin castled queen side, knight f3 and f6. Well, if we have a look at the board, Alyokhin managed to convert that terrible position into an equal game, but in this position he made a mistake and played f6. Well, it was better to play bishop e6, and if queen takes h7, then in return black can capture on c4, but instead after knight f3 we see f6, which is creating too many weaknesses in black's camp. We see e takes f6, rook takes f6, Rook e1, and overlooking white's next threat, Alyokhin played queen b4. Well, at least he should have played queen f8, but instead we see queen b4. Now you will understand the difference. In this position, Paul Keras made a move and Alyokhin resigned. Can you find the winning move? Ready? Actually, that's very simple. I'm sure that a real chess lover must spot such a tactical shot just in a blink of an eye. Keras played, queen takes d7 check and Alokhin resigned. I just can't understand such a tactical monster like Alokhin, how could he blunder this move? Now if rook takes d7 then rook e8 check and then with which rook are we going to take? I prefer with the rook on d1 and this is a checkmate. That's why after queen takes d7 check, Alokhin resigned. It will be also very interesting to know your opinion about this game. Waiting for your comments and questions. Good luck.